Hello again boys and girls. It's so good of you to join me again today. And what we're going to be doing today is a very interesting collage. We have been looking on icons of Jamaica. So you may wonder what are icons? It simply means famous people. And the particular Jamaican personality that we will be featuring today is one who is famous for her poems which are all in our Jamaican dialect. Do you know who I'm talking about? That's right. None other than Louise Bennett Coveley. We just call her Miss Lou. I'm going to be using this yellow sheet of paper as my background paper today. Usually I work on white, but today I'm taking a different approach. So a yellow paper or any other color for that matter. We'll also need a rectangle of red. That's the size of it. About three fingers. To go with that, we have two red circles. We'll also need two brown bunny ears. It's about the same as the width of the rectangle. And I just cut those, all these brown shapes in fact, from a paper bag. I have a brown oval and two smaller ovals, a semicircle and three small rectangles. Two of these rectangles, one is already done, I'm going to cut so that one end is a little bit smaller than the other. So these two are ready. This one is fine. And that's it for that section. We also will need a white paper with a blue and red crayon. And it's very interesting. What we're going to do with this white paper is try to recreate this fabric. This is a piece of bandana fabric. It's used in our national costume for Jamaica. Now, I know many of you would not have this on hand. So as I said, we will recreate that on paper. The first step will be to fold my paper in half lengthways and then simply cut. Now I'm going to set this half aside for use later. So we will begin. Now look at the pattern. It's simply bands of red down and across in a checkered pattern. So let's go. And we don't have to be too exact. We're going to make some wide bands and some narrow bands. And we're going to proceed like this all the way across our paper. Just randomly making wide bands and narrow bands and even wider bands until we come to the end of the paper. Of course, once we have done it all, then we will go in the other direction, doing mostly narrow bands going this way. pretty much making the same sort of pattern with my blue but you will notice from the fabric that there are no really wide bands of blue. Now that this is all done I'm going to set it aside for now and we will begin with Miss Lou herself. 
first things first. Let's start at the top. Let's place her head somewhere near the top of the page. That will do. Then we have one of these which will do nicely for our neck. Then comes her top. Now Miss Lou, quite plump lady. So we we'll put this rectangle going across. And this will do right there. Okay. Now Miss Lou's puff sleeves one on either side and then we're going to put on a big white skirt so we'll need a portion of this white paper I think that's enough you'll notice it's wider than the blouse so what we're going to do is just scrunch it together right don't be too particular about how and then we'll put some glue in place here and stretch this out to fit just like that. There, press it down nice and firm. I've placed it on the sides of the skirt but I've left the bottom open because that's where we're going to insert her leg pieces. Remember we made one side smaller and that smaller end will be down. Those are her ankles, her dainty ankles. There we go. Later we will put on her shoes. Now for her arms. Now we are just going to put from her elbows up to her wrist. That's going down is on scene. So, just like that. Let's not secure it just yet. I think we could raise them up. There we go. Now these parts are just ovals but we want to change that a bit so we're going to cut a little wedge like a pie piece out of there and put her hand here it's sort of like a mitten shape we won't go into too much detail to make individual fingers so there we go just like that. That part is a little stubborn. We pull it out and place that hand right there. Good. Now it's time to use our bandana fabric. I'm going to cut a bit off right across here, I think. That should do it. We are going to need just a little snip of this fabric for her head wrap. I'm going to scrunch it up in the middle to make a sort of a bow shape. Okay then, put it to her head and estimate we're going to take off about that much on either side. And now we're ready to glue it in place. Give her a skull cap of blue and simply press in place. There, her head wrap is ready. Now we can add a little hair on both sides and her big bright eyes and her smile, her charming smile, always present. Okay. There is Miss Lou's face ready to go. Now, to adorn her costume further, we're going to need some more of this 
bandana fabric. Uh, let's pull it up in the middle the way. No, I think on both sides it is what Miss Lou would like. So we'll cut it about here and simply crush on this side and crush on this side and then we can put it in place a little glue here right across the top and some up here so there just fiddle with your paper until you get it to look the way you would like it to look that's just fine for me let's take off a little bit from this side there. All done. That looks like Miss Lou's costume. Now she just needs another piece hanging down. Oh, here it is. This is the one I want. She wants another piece hanging down on one side and this, this will do. Right up here. Some glue down there and we scrunch it up, put it in place. There you go, Miss Lou. A beautiful Jamaican bandana costume. One that you would have been proud to wear. Now, yours doesn't have to be exactly like mine. But I think this looks pretty close to what Miss Lou liked to wear. Now there's still something missing. Do you remember that we promised to give her some shoes? Well, here you go, Miss Lou. Black shoes, I think, will go nicely with your outfit. Nothing fancy, nice and easy. I'm sure you can manage that. Now, Miss Lou always liked to wear beads and bracelets. So, I have a few little pieces here that I am going... This is just a shiny, sparkly piece of pipe cleaner. I'm going to put it around her neck. And I think maybe a few pieces around her wrist. And we will be good and ready. Maybe even I was thinking maybe I could use this rubber band as well to go around her neck. Okay, guys. You know I always tell you, just use the bits and pieces you have at home. I tried using the rubber band, but I have to admit, it was a bust. So no rubber bands. They are too unwieldy. So what I used instead was a narrow strip of yellow paper along with the pipe cleaners. And I just tucked them in over her shoulders, glued them in place, her bracelets, and a bit of ribbon for the other hand. And there is Miss Lou, all beautifully dressed and ready to perform her labrish points. Do have fun trying your own collage to represent Miss Lou. She'll be so proud of you.